everyone welcome back to my channel with me Monique for today's video I have an exciting haul and these are all from Pleats Please so if you don't know Pleats Please it is one of the brands from Issey Miyake which is a designer that I have always admired and I have always wanted to buy things from Pleats Please and it turns out in Bangkok, Please Please is very popular and they have several stores here and they were having a sale so I was really excited um, because I've always wanted to get pieces from them uh, and when I was in New York, you know, their prices are actually I think higher than Asia so I'm here and they're having a sale so I couldn't pass it up so, as I mentioned, Please Please is a brand from Issey Miyake and Issey Miyake is a very famous Japanese designer which has a very huge following. He always comes up with new techniques and he cares about his garments lasting a long time. And it's classic design, especially Pleats Please. Uh, it is actually one size fits most and it is very inclusive. Anyone from size 0 to size 18 can wear the same thing. Issey Miyake is a very renowned Japanese designer. He is on the same level as Rei Kawakubo and Yoji Yamamoto. All of them have really huge following. So he created Pleats Please in 1988 as a part of his uh, Issey Miyake line. It is a pattern technique. So basically he created one piece of clothing. Instead of creating clothing from a pleated fabric, he would cut and sew the fabric and then pleat it after. So because it is a Japanese brand, it has the Japanese sizing. It's from 1 to 5. So the clothing would have size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But basically anyone or almost anyone could fit into those clothing. The main difference is usually the length. So if you are someone who is very petite, so maybe you want something that is made in the sizes like 1, 2, 3. And if you're taller or if you want the item to fall like, you know, longer on you then you can go with four and five so it's mostly on the length that is the difference but sometimes of course it is a little bit wider as you go up in sizes and it is made out of polyester because they do a hot pleating technique so they can only do it on polyester but it is Japanese polyester which is on another level it's not like your fast fashion polyester um, that will make you really hot on summer day when you wear them please please clothes are actually really breezy it is for all weather it is for all occasion and it travels very easily because you can just like roll them up and just throw it in your suitcase no ironing needed no dry cleaning um, actually it is recommended to wash it you can do machine wash but it's not recommended to do dry cleaning so enough of the blabber let's go with the haul these three bags are not from one trip only because i was just obsessed i went several times and tried on so many pieces because when i was in new york the only pieces that i've tried on were just the skirt and like the very simple dress so I didn't really know how the other styles would fit on my body and it is best to try it on your body because it falls differently on different people because it is very architectural and it just molds onto your body so the first trip that I went I kind of just dipped my toe I tried on a bunch of pieces but I didn't really want to commit yet to buying you know multiple pieces so I just bought this one piece which I think is really really classic it's a cardigan and it's like a very like classic cardigan you can't really see it um, so it looks like that it goes with everything you can think of you can see the pleats so essentially they cut and sew really huge fabric and then they just pleat it and they become this yeah so almost most sizes can wear the same thing typically prefer size three or four uh, sometimes maybe five depending on availability but uh, one or two are not really available anymore because I am in Asia 
and you know women here tend to be very small so I guess those sizes get sold out first so this is my first purchase this was I think 30% off also I'm loving this light I don't even use any ring light so on my second trip I kind of know what I liked I've tried on a bunch of pieces and I went back and tried on a lot more pieces and I went a little bit crazy so first we have okay first we have this beautiful fuchsia skirt it's not really showing correctly on camera it's a slightly deeper than what you see but it's such a beautiful beautiful color i am so in love with it i will also insert a picture of me trying stuff on in the fitting room if i do have so you can see how this thing falls on me it's just a simple pleated skirt i think this shape is more flattering on me because i'm curvy a lot of their skirts are more like on the very bouncy and wider hip which is not the best for me but i find that this is very simple classic it can go with a lot of things and i just love that color so when you pack it you should just go roll it up and fold it like so and it's ready this one is actually in a size 5 because that's the only size that it's available and i purchased the same skirt in this color i am obsessed with this green since i saw Valentino's couture, I don't remember which year, but he paired this green with a purple and I'm just obsessed. Love, love, love. I've worn this once. It's such a beautiful color. It just makes you happy. Love it. This one is in the size 4, which I prefer because it is slightly shorter than the pink one. Next, I have this top. And it's a little bit of a crop top and it's more like bouncy and, uh, and architectural as you can see. So it's a very, very fun top and I love pairing it with this skirt. I think it looks great, but it looks great also on like just a pair of black pants. Next, I have a dress. I tried this dress on twice because I was not sure if I want to get this color or the orange one. But I decided to go with the blue because I feel like this will be perfect for one of those beach vacations. Uh, even though the orange will be great as well, but this I feel like I would wear a lot more because the orange is a very, very bright orange. So it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of like a curve on the arm which creates such a beautiful uh, detail. Now, pleats, please items usually look pretty similar front and back, but one way to know which part is the front is that usually the front is slightly lower on the neckline. There you go. Look at that color with a bunch of like gold jewelry. This one is in a size 4. And the top before is in a size three. Okay, so on my second trip, I get four items. And then I went back again uh, yesterday because there was further reduction. Everything from the second trip was somewhere between 30 and 40%. And this is from my third trip. Let's see what I got. I went really basic with this one. I really wanted to get like ba basic pieces, especially black. So I want something that would last forever and will go with everything. So I got lucky and I got this black dress. It's just a very simple kind of like a tank dress. And of course it's pleated like anything else. This one is a long dress. Uh, you can either wear a cardigan over it it, you can wear it on its own you can wear a cardigan over it or you can wear like a top underneath the dress so there's so many ways to style this dress you can belt it if you want to or you could just leave it loose love love this this is such a staple piece and to get it at 40 percent off it's amazing now next item is this one uh, when you shop in the store they always pack it like this uh, 
everything else I have opened, but this one I just got it yesterday, so I haven't opened it. So they pack it like this because this is how you're supposed to store it. They just roll it along the pleats, like the lines of the pleats. So it goes, if the pleats goes this way, then that's how you roll it. Now this is a pair of pants, which again another very staple pe uh, staple piece, and I was lucky enough to get this also at thirty percent off very very simple i wanted something that's a little bit tapered on the bottom i don't really want the flared ones because i feel like i wore flared pants a lot in the past and i really don't find them really flattering anymore on me now this is the only size left that they have it is a size five so it does fall um a little bit longer on me but it still falls on my ankle and the best part is that it has pockets I think all their bottoms actually has pockets because the skirts, they also has pockets. Let me show you. I didn't realize it at first, but actually all the skirts has pockets. Isn't that amazing? The last piece for the day, uh, if you notice, everything that I got is basically in solid colors. I really, really wanted something with prints because they do have beautiful prints. But every time I try on something with prints, they just don't really look good on me in my opinion. So the last piece is this one. Again, it is packed like this. You see how small it is when you pack it, when you travel? It's so easy. This top is really beautiful. Uh, I tried it on in the black and I really, really like it with the pants because I think it looks really chic, uh, this longer top to go with the pants. But then I was like, mm, do I really want like a black top? I feel like I have so many black tops. And I came across this one and I'm in love. I'm glad I saw this and not get the black because I did get like three black pieces already. Uh, this one is a little bit special in terms of the pleat. It is called the Komorebi, Komorebi pleats. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So basically, if you can see, it has two colors, right? Now the original fabric color is this one, this lighter purple. So what they do when they pleat it is that they also dye it on the same time. So the part, the pleat part has the darker color to add that texture. I love the asymmetric neckline. Let me see if I can wear it over my shirt to show you. So. so you see the asymmetrical neckline love it it's actually very easy and very flattery and i was also thinking i can pair it with this i think the colors go together i love it i'm obsessed with please please now i'm watching every youtube videos about it and learning more about the brand all right so that is the end of my haul thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos weekly about style, mindful shopping, travel, and everything in between. Like this video if you like it and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!